Hey everybody, Dieter Bone here for WM Experts, and today we are taking a look at the all-new Blackjack 2, available on AT&T officially as of Friday. I've been using this thing all weekend, so this is sort of a uh, unboxing, but it's uh, it's a fake unboxing because I've used it. And there's a device, and it comes with a uh, power, and it also comes with a sync cable. And take a look, a weird proprietary connector, not the same as the last Blackjack's connector, no good. There's the battery, and you can see me hefting it there. It is basically the same size as the original Blackjack's extended battery, and they've managed to uh, find a way to cram it into basically the same form factor. So this is going to get much better battery life than the original. So uh, let's see. I'll turn it on there. Uh, missed power button. See there, it's got a little LED alert light on there. I like that very much. It's got a scroll wheel on the five-way. Uh, you know, actually, let's zoom in here and let's take a closer look at the device all around. As you can see, it's a very glossy device, um, glossy main buttons there. There's that great scroll wheel. I really like it. I'll talk about that a little bit more in a minute here. And there, now I'll finally turn it on. Keyboard, uh, keys are a little bit better than the original Blackjack. I like it. And they give you some more buttons here. You can't customize them, or I haven't figured out yet, but I like the extra buttons. Uh, all the sides are very clean. Uh, they've gotten rid of the, the scroll wheel on the side, just the, uh, the micro SD card. There's the volume buttons and the back clean lines. So let's do our standard comparisons. Of course, the one we want to compare it to first is going to be aha, the original Blackjack. And you can see the new Blackjack is, um, I don't know, much cooler looking. Uh, it is just a tiny bit thicker through the main body, although they're about the same thickness when you include the extra battery hump there. Um, the new Blackjack, at least in the black here, which is the one we have, obviously, is a fingerprint magnet, but the red is a little bit less so. Um, you can see there, it's just a little bit thicker. Uh, but uh, it feels great in the hand. I really like it. And uh, let's also compare it to the uh, the Q9H, or the Q9 Global, as it's known. And uh, the Blackjack is, of course, not nearly as wide as the Q9H. It is not a gigantic slab. Uh, I'll be talking more about that in a later post. I, uh, I disagree with the boy genius. I think the Blackjack is much better than the Q9. But uh, we'll get back to that in a little bit. Uh, what I want to do now is focus in on the software. Uh, you can see here uh, the standard today screen. You can see that they obviously have uh, Oz's uh, IM client built in, so I'm happy to see that. And let's jump into the start menu, and we've got the standard AT&T stuff inside here. Uh, let's go into Organizer, see what extra apps we've got. And ho ho, look at that, the alarm, uh, D-Day is back, Notepad, Converter, World Clock, wonderful. And what else have we got here? We'll go into applications, probably standard stuff in there too. Well, actually, RSS reader, Telenav, GPS is built into the Blackjack 2, which is great. I used it. It works very well. Um, it is a uh, you know a 3G phone, no Wi-Fi though, which is too bad. And yeah, pretty much standard stuff. It's a very straightforward phone. It feels very easy to use. I really love the scroll wheel. It's got some ridges on it to keep your thumb on it. It works much, much better than the scroll wheel on the T-Mobile Shadow, for example. And you can even hold down the home button there to get a hold of the uh, task manager, which is what I just showed you there. So there you go. More to come later, but that's the Blackjack too.